Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover estimation. And when we estimate, we find an approximate or close value to the exact answer. Estimation is a very important skill that helps us determine a reasonable value to a problem. Estimation is critical in both math class and the real world, whether you are determining if an answer is in a reasonable range, estimating the total cost of items as you're shopping in a store, estimating the cost of a discounted item, or even estimating the time of arrival if you're on a trip. Estimation is used all the time in a wide variety of situations. In this specific video, I'm going to cover how to estimate whole number products. And we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one where we have 62 times eight. And the first thing I wanna do, I'm going to use front end estimation to round 62. And front end estimation is rounding to the greatest place valued digit. So the digit furthest to the left. In the case of 62, it's going to be the tens place. So 62 is going to round to 60. Now eight is a one digit number. So I'm going to keep it as is. 60 times eight is going to give us our estimate. So 6 times 8 is 48. And let's place our 0 back on the end there in order to push everything to the correct place value and give us the correct answer. So 62 times 8 is approximately 480. So this squiggly equal sign here, that means an approximate value or about. The actual answer, the actual exact answer to number 1 is 496. So you can see that our estimate was close to the exact answer. So on to number two, where we have a two digit number times a two digit number, 29 times 13. And we're actually going to use a couple of different um, estimating strategies here, uh, starting with front end estimation, where we round to the greatest place value digit, the digit furthest to the left. Now front end estimation is usually the simplest and easiest to use, but at times it doesn't give you the best estimate. So what we can do here, we'll round both of these to the tens place and we get 30 times 10, which gives us an estimate of 300, which would be fine. That's an estimate you can use. Now we're going to get a closer or better estimate because the closer you round to the original problem, the better your estimate is going to be. 29, I'm going to round to 30 again. But 13, I'm going to keep the same because I know what three times 13 is um, and that's going to give us 39 and I can place that zero back on to give us an estimate of 390. Now again, this second estimate here is going to be closer to the exact answer because I rounded closer to the original problem. There are no written exact rules for estimation, so you can use what's best for you. You can manipulate the problem and round the problem in order to work best for you. Now the exact answer to number two is 377. So you can see that our second estimate was a little closer. Now, if you use 300 for your estimate, that's fine. But again, it's not as close as our second one. So let's move on to number three, where we have 59 times 46. Now, in the case of number three, front end estimation is going to be our best option. Simplest to work with and just overall our best option, like I mentioned. So let's round both to the tens place. So 59 is going to round to 60 times 46 is going to round to 50. So six times five is 30. And we'll place our two zeros back on to give us the correct answer there of 3000. So 59 times 46 is about 3000. The exact answer is 2700 14. So you can see that our estimate was pretty close to that exact answer. Now the more you do of these estimating problems and thinking things through and manipulating numbers, the better you will get. 
and the more you will understand as far as different ways you can round and manipulate these problems to give you uh, better estimates. So on to number four, where we will do front end estimation, and then also we can round these numbers to give us a better estimation than front end. So we'll start, like I said, with front end estimation, hundreds place here, so 400, this would round to, times 19 is going to round to 20. That's going to give us four times two is eight, and one, two, three zeros, 8,000. So our first estimate is 8,000. Now another strategy we can do, we see that 354, that's close to 350, way closer to 350 than 400. So remember, the closer you round to that original problem, the better your estimate is going to be. And I'm thinking ahead here a little bit because I know 19 is close to 20, and I know what 2 times 35 is. So 2 times 35 is 70, one, two zeros, and I get an estimate of 7,000. So both good estimates there, but 7,000 is going to be a better one because I rounded closer to the original problem. The exact answer is 6,726. So you can see that our second estimate is actually much better than the front end estimate. So there you have it. There's how you estimate whole number products. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.